All right, guys, so we're back working with Sarah today for the third training video, and she actually does really good in this video, so I'm excited for you guys to see it. We're just doing some basic lunging, as always, before we start off, just to get her kind of warmed up and in place. Um, you can see she spooked a little bit there. I don't know why, but we got some other horses in the arena today, which is a big reason why I wanted to work with her because I haven't worked with her a lot while other people are riding and I really wanted to test her patience and focus today so that's what we're starting out doing and just some whip exercises and yeah just the basic stuff we do every time. So a decade later, it feels like, when we're finally done lunging, um, you'll notice that Sarah, for some reason, just does not like me standing to the side of her. She always wants me in front of her. And whenever I'm kind of at her shoulder, she always tries to move so that I'm not there anymore. So you'll see in this video a lot where I am constantly pushing her to let me stand by her shoulder. Um, because for some reason, she just is not is not a fan of me standing right there. So after we're done lunging, um, I'll take Sarah around the arena a little bit and just walk and I abruptly stop and back her up. And I notice Sarah sometimes isn't paying attention. She's kind of walking around all over the place on top of me all the time. So I want her to get sharp on her backing up skills as well as paying attention to where I'm at when we're walking. Okay, so I also did a little bit of flexing with her in the corner and I totally forgot to move my camera over. So we're gonna have to miss out on that. But that's what I'm doing over here in the corner. I'm just kind of trying to get her backed into that corner and work on her flexing her neck. But yeah, totally forgot to move my camera over. And after we were done flexing, for whatever reason, I felt like we needed to lunge more. I don't know. I think I was just trying to mix stuff up with her that day and keep her from getting bored. Because I noticed she does kind of get bored once in a while. So, I don't know. I guess we're going to do some more lunging. All right, and on to the next day. We're gonna start with our whip exercises once again. And I don't know, I always start with these just cause it's good for the horse and I feel like it, it helps them never develop like a fear of the whip um, because we do kind of throw it at them and you know, hit their butt with it once in a while. And so it helps them just be comfortable with it. And so it's not always a bad thing when used around the horse. I do make her walk and trot on the lunge line, but I'm cutting that stuff out because I feel like we've seen enough of me lunging her and um, on to the more exciting things. So today I broke out the saddle pad and I wanted to see, you know, what she would do if she was nervous about it or anything like that. And so we can finally start moving on with this process. And guys, she literally could not have cared less about this saddle pad. Um, she sniffs it a bit, thinks about it, but I seriously could just like throw it at her and she didn't even care. So yeah, I feel like this will be a semi quick process getting the saddle on and everything like that. So I'll let you guys watch that. Okay, so I did want her to step on it just because I feel like it's really good for horses to be able to step on and walk on things that might scare them. 
I feel like if a horse is walking over top of it, you know they're not scared of it. So I'm just kind of going back and forth here. I want her to just put a step on it, kind of walk over it so she, she feels that it's not going to make any noise or anything like that and get comfortable with it. So you don't have to do this step, but I kind of like to do it. And you can see there, she's like, why, why are you making me do this? So as you can see, I'm going to start throwing it around, throwing it up in the air on the ground. And I want her to hear it hit the ground. I want her to see it go flying. I want to rub it on her and hit her lightly with it. And she doesn't care about any of it. So I assume she's probably done this in the past. And, um, you know, she's not a spooky horse really in general. So this wasn't really too difficult for her. And I just threw it up on there. And yeah, she just, she didn't care. I'm letting it fall off of her um, so that she can, you know, experience things falling off of her back. And she didn't care about that either. So yeah, really good, good progress though. I'd rather her be like this than be spooky and scared about it. And so I'm deciding to work on her flexing a little bit more and my camera does go a little lopsided there But you can still kind of see what I'm doing So I always go over to this corner just because it's a nice corner where she can't spin or turn so She doesn't like this corner though. She'll give me a little hard time getting into it But you just got to work with what we got here But I want her to be able to flex both ways But you'll see that she is really bad about doing one way compared to the other so and like I said I'm trying to mix things up and keep it interesting for her so after we flexed we went back and did this just a little bit just before we ended and I want to end on a good note always so I just throw that on her a couple of times and then we're done for the day so she did really good with that and yeah really easy day for her I think I didn't challenge her too much but I'm glad I got it out and did it and yes so now we're on to the next day while I get my camera set up and today I decided to break out the bareback pad because she did so well with the saddle pad. I was like, all right, this isn't that difficult for her. So I might as well break out the bareback pad and strap it on and see how she does. So we're going to do this at the other end of the arena today. And I really wanted to try that because I never work with her down in this end. I always work with her in the closer end. And as you will see here, we just start out with some lunging, of course, and our whip exercises can't forget about those. So we're going to do that real quick, but I never work with her over here. And so I decided to do that today. And as you'll tell, this made it for a really not good day for Sarah. She was not having it today. And this is really the first like bad day we'd encountered. And it started from the minute that I brought her in the barn. She was pawing at her hay net. And she was like, you know what? No, I don't want to go that direction today. I want to go my way. So she, um, she got a little lesson today that just because things are different doesn't mean she can, you know, do whatever she wants. She was just, oh my gosh, you guys. And then, yeah, okay. Lost my temper a little bit there. Don't do that, but... Yeah, I was like, no, girl, you are going this direction whether you like it or not. Because if I just let her stop and go wherever she wants, then she's going to learn that when things are different and she's uncomfortable, then she'll just do whatever she wants. And that's not how I train my horses. So I'm, I'm making her go this way. And you can see she's pulling on me. And yeah, being in this end of the arena was just not, not going well for her. But that's all the more reason I have to work with her because she has to know that she has to work through this. I mean, I can't just let her throw a tantrum and be done. She has to work through it. So that's what we did. We just worked through it and we didn't do a whole bunch today, but yeah, she had to do it anyways.
All right, so I lunged her to the point where she settled down a little bit and she figured out that she has to work anyways. And I did move down a little farther to the center of the arena so that, you know, we could take a chill pill for a minute. And I went pretty quick with the bareback pad, but like I said earlier, Sarah, for some reason, just is not wanting me to stand on her side. She always wants me in front of her. So this is going to be a learning experience of getting her cinch done up and that I have to stand by her, um, her side and that I'm going to whether she likes it or not. Because as you can see, anytime that I get, you know, farther back towards her barrel, she moves away. So she didn't find the bareback pad that scary because it's pretty much just like the saddle pad. And yeah. So once she lets me, I reach for that cinch and pull her under because I just want to get it cinched and on so that she can feel that belt under her stomach. And I don't tighten it really that much at first. I mean, I'll gradually make it more snug the more we work, but it's kind of loose right now and I tighten it a little bit later, but she's letting me stand there. So I figured grab it and do it. I didn't really make her do too much with it on today. I just wanted her to get the feel of it, have it on for a little bit. So I just kind of made her do some lunging. And that was pretty much the whole story. So I think a lot of the reason Sarah doesn't like me on her side is because there's usually pressure put on her when I'm on her side. But she's also going to have to learn that the pressure comes off when I'm at her side. So. As you can see, I'm just following her around until she gives up and lets me stand there. And then I will take uh, the bareback pad off. And the next time I go to work with her, we basically do the exact same thing again. Um, I like to do things once or twice, so it's not just you learn one thing and then another and another. I like her to get comfortable with it and have it on a few times and have, you know, spent that time all right, and this is the big day. I finally break out the saddle. We had to do it sometime. So since she's comfortable with the pad, um, I finally broke out the saddle. And I'm going to do my whip exercises and lunging with the saddle sitting there on the ground just because I want it to be present there. I want her to be able to look at it, sniff it if she wants to, and it's not, you know, a scary object just by being there. And she's totally comfortable with it. She doesn't even care about it, clearly. So this session was actually pretty short and the only reason for that was because I knew that I put a lot of pressure on her on this day. Um, it was a pretty big step and honestly she did really good. She didn't panic or spook about anything and I put a lot of pressure on her. So we made it just a short quick session and short sessions are okay as long as the horse has learned something and has gained something from being there and being present in the session. So um, I'm making some noise with it, flopping it around, and I let her sniff it a little bit so she can check it out. You know, I'm not just going to throw some random object onto her, um, but I give her the chance to kind of check things out, listen to it, flop around, and, and yeah. So I always kind of rub it with her, which is very difficult with one hand. And I actually try and just throw it on her with one hand, and that didn't work very well, clearly. She's like, what are you doing? And I couldn't get it up there with one hand anyway, so I'm just rubbing her with it a little bit some more. And she didn't spook, like, because she was scared. She was like, why were you just trying to throw that at me? So she just kind of moved away is all. But I do slowly but surely get it up there. I want to rub her with it so she's not, like, freaked out by it or anything. And guys, she's been so good throughout this whole thing. Like, I've had horses that are freaked out by everything. And I believe that she actually has had a saddle on in the past, like once or twice, because I bought her 
and the people said that she was very, very green broke. But I just restarted her as if she wasn't broke. So I think she probably has had a saddle on maybe once or twice with her previous owners. But you can see I just kind of put it up there. She spooked a little, but that was really it. And um, I just kind of start putting things down and gradually strapping the cinch on. And she's doing so good with it. I mean, she looks totally relaxed, but she was kind of tense. Um, I'm making some noise with it and patting patting the saddle and you can see her move away and that's a sign that she's trying to release the pressure but I just keep putting it on her and she did so good today so that's why we had a shorter session So I was able to get it all strapped up and on. Um, I didn't have it very tight on her or anything. Um, like I said earlier, I'll gradually make it more snug um, the more she has it on. But all I did with her was just walk her around with it on. She wasn't freaked out by it or anything, but I didn't want to just send her off into lunging because I didn't have it on tight. Um, so we're just walking around and letting her feel it on her back and how her body's going to move under it. And you can see her ears are back. She's kind of like, why am I wearing this thing? I don't know why this is on me. But she's thinking about it. She's just, you can see her lick and, and chew her lips. Um, and she's doing really well. So I just kind of walk her around for a little bit. And then that's the end of our session. So the only thing she really spooked about today was when I take it off because I, I didn't even think about it, but I just kind of took it off and threw it on the ground, which you'll see she's like, uh, kind of uncomfortable about that. And here again is where she's learning that the pressure gets released once I take the saddle off. But yeah, she was kind of spooked by it falling on the ground, but she didn't panic. So that's, that's a good sign. And that's all we did for today. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to let her check it out a little bit more. Um, I will keep the videos of Sarah coming. And hopefully you guys are enjoying these little training videos. And uh, let me know what else you want to see down in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. And so will Sarah. Bye.